Hey Camouflage fans, in case you don't know who I am, I'm Kyle T. Cowan, the filmmaker behind Camouflage. I've decided to turn our film into a charity movement, The Camouflage Project. The movie will be available on Vimeo for free worldwide on November 25th, 2014. In exchange for getting to watch the film for free, we are asking that you donate what would be the price of a movie ticket to a mental health, gay and lesbian, bullying, or gun control charity of your choice. If you need a suggestion of a charity to donate to, you can tweet me, at Kyle T. Cowan, and I will be happy to suggest a reputable charity that supports one of our causes. Please donate in the name of Camouflage Movie, and comment in the comments section on the film page with how much you donated and to what organization. After you watch the film, please commit a random act of kindness and use social media to create a video stating what you did, and then challenge three of your friends to watch the movie, post a video of their own, and donate. By challenging others to watch the film, we will be able to spread the word faster, and hopefully we will be able to make a global impact. Please don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at, at Camouflage Movie. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Camouflage Movie, and use the hashtags hashtag Camouflage Movie and hashtag The Camouflage Project to help us spread the word about our movement. Remember, we are fiercely independent, and we can't get the word out without your help. Thank you so much. Now... Please enjoy an exclusive first look at a scene from Camouflage. Viewer discretion is advised. Isn't this case a little bit low profile for the FBI? You tell me. You can't keep me in here forever. Not forever. The first 24 hours and then 12 hours a day for as long as I like. I'm innocent until proven guilty. Oh, we have plenty of proof. I have rights. Not in situations that threaten national security. National security? At approximately 12.45 a.m. Pacific time, you were detained for the murder of two individuals on your college campus. After analyzing the evidence in your dorm room, along with the evidence at the crime scene, we've decided to charge you with two counts of murder in the first degree, 37 counts of attempted murder, and three counts of the unlawful possession of a firearm. You're facing the death penalty. With that being said, the first question we have for you is where did you get the guns? Why 37? Please don't answer my question with another question. For each bullet left in the magazines. Precisely. By my count, I shot 19 rounds. I missed twice. Seven of those were kill shots. That makes seven counts of murder in the first degree. By your count? What about the bullet left in the chamber? With the new measures in place, it's illegal for you to have a gun while you attend a university. So? Where did you get them? I bought them. Where? Fine. 